Right now, I have four live streams going on right now on my channel and streaming at the same time. And as you can see, this is the stream number one and this is stream number two. A stream number one is just a video. As you can see, just a tutorial streaming. It's gonna keep looping and it's set to be 24 seven. Second stream, it's just an audio, just some music playing back. As you can hear with some audio visualizer and third stream is a just some audio playing again with just an image all right and then the fourth stream is a very cool stream like uh, kind of streaming into shorts and again everything's happening on the same channel by the way and as you can see it's some music with the same image but it's going through the shorts or the very cool version everything streaming in 1080 but if i wanted i can stream in 4k and of course in this video i'm gonna show you how i'm actually doing it basically how to create a 24 7 live stream that's kind of looping either using videos or using just music i'm sure you have seen this type of live streams on youtube so let's get into it What's going on guys? My name is Sammy watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. Now, just to let you know guys, to do this, you're not gonna need OBS and you're not gonna need to have your PC on all the time. Basically, we're gonna be using a service called AppStream. Now, as you can see, I have everything here in the back end. You can see all the streams that I have going on. You can see I have this one going on. This is the audio that's looping with audio visualizer. And I have this one going on as well. And you can see I got a thumbnail and everything. So I can monitor everything in here. And if I wanted to, you know, kind of stop the stream and, you know, do whatever I want, I can basically do it in here. So to get access to AppStream, by the way, is a sponsor of today's video. Thank you, AppStream, for sponsoring us today. So let me show you how to set up your own stream. What you need to do is you need to go to AppStream.so, AppStream.so. And once you get there, if it's your first time, you're going to have to create an account. Uh, you can just click to get started or just log in if this is not the first time. But obviously, if you're watching this video, this is going to be your first time, of course. So go click to get started, go through the login and creating your account it should be straightforward once you logged in you're gonna get to a page i mean the first time is not gonna look like this obviously you're not gonna have all the streams that i have set up so i'm gonna show you how to set up your own stream okay but just before we go there i'm just gonna show you the user interface as you can see you can turn into light or dark mode and then this is where you can manage your subscription if you go to your account here you can see all your email your username and all the you know you can also choose one thing that's very very important the server because the upload server so depending on where you live if you live let's say personally live in canada i should have the america uh, upload server because the server if the server is close to you the better experience you're gonna have and of course you can manage some other stuff like your passwords we're not gonna take too much time here obviously next thing we have your library this is where you're gonna have you can upload your media so basically this service allows you to do a looping live stream but it's not something that you can stream to like you know streaming to obs like a kind of live video and send it to uh, this service you have to upload your media so a video it could be uh you know some audio some music lo-fi you know I, i'm sure you've seen some lo-fi music kind of playing in the loop on youtube you know this kind of stuff for like a fire place kind of thing like a streaming on the loop on youtube I, i'm sure you've seen those those type of streams so, so this is exactly what this does okay so you can go here and then go to you can create a new folder you can upload directly your media so if i click upload you can go here and actually upload anything from your computer it could be a video it could be some audio no problem and it's gonna be uploaded and it's gonna show up in your media files okay now to go back you can go to this sandwich menu and then you can go to my uh, streams this is where you're gonna spend most of the time so once you're here, what we need to do, we're going to create our first live stream. So we're going to go here, click create new 24-7 stream. And once you get here, you can choose either you want to stream to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and some kick, rumble, or you can even do custom RTMP. So basically just get a stream key, just use it in here in AppStream. Okay. Now for me, 
I have YouTube, my YouTube account or my YouTube channel already set. So I can go out here and just choose YouTube. Now, I recommend you actually click here and connect it to your YouTube account because it's easier, it's faster. You can simply click here, connect with YouTube. But if you don't want to go through that, you can do a manual setup, which is you have to create a stream on YouTube and then get the stream key and then come actually paste it in here. But for us, we can just go here directly to connect. And as you can see, I have my YouTube channel already connected, live production testing. This is my second channel. If you want it, you can, again, I can connect another channel and basically what it's going to do, it's going to take you to a page where it's going to show you like, you know, all the Gmail uh, accounts and all you need to do is you need to select the one that's connected to your YouTube channel. Follow instructions is super easy. Once you're done, obviously your YouTube account is going to be connected. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and select the one that's already connected and you're going to need to enter some details for your stream. So let's say streaming with upstream and you're gonna choose the resolution again most of the time i would say 1080 should be fine but if you want to do more than 1080 as you can see you have 1440 or you can also do 4k you also have horizontal and vertical if you want to do like streaming shorts or you want to stream on instagram where you need to be streaming in vertical mode so for me i'm just gonna keep this one on horizontal 1080 Frame rate, you can change. You can do up to 60 frames per second. For us, we're going to keep it at 30. And then privacy, obviously, you want to make sure you choose public. But again, for us, because we don't want to go public, live publicly, you can just leave it uh, to unlisted. Thumbnail, you can click here and add your thumbnail, which is really cool because once you're done, you don't need to do much in YouTube Studio unless you monetize and you want to go, at, you know, trick some settings like monetizing there's some things you won't have access to through upstream of course which is normal so i can go ahead and choose a thumbnail and then choose you know basic settings is this made for kids no and unless you're streaming for kids and then for video bitrate this is important if you're streaming to facebook usually facebook's like six megabits per second the maximum for youtube it's around 10 thousand kbps so 10 megabits per second however depending on why you're streaming if you're streaming let's just say let's say just an image and some audio you probably don't need to use a higher bit rate in fact i tried actually higher bit rate i had like some issues somehow youtube wasn't it was just a little glitch was nothing but it's like you're just sending too much bit rate for why you're actually streaming i don't know maybe that's what that happened but for me if you're streaming just audio i'll actually keep this to around just audio with maybe an image around 4000 now if you're streaming a video right like uh, the video that i was streaming an actual video i will actually say maybe put it between 8000 and 10000 seems to work well now for audio bit rate you can leave it at 128 you don't have to change this so you can play with this no problem depending on what you want now for us let's keep it at 8000 for now and again you can also multi-stream that's another feature that i actually forgot to mention if you want to multi-stream say you want to stream to two different channels or you want to stream to youtube and facebook you can actually go ahead and add another stream destination here which we won't be do for the purpose of this tutorial. Once you're done, you can click continue with YouTube and go to the next stage. Now, at this stage, you need to choose if you want to use a video or you want to use image. OK, now, if you want to use image, that's where you will actually just upload it like a thumbnail and it's just have some music playing in the background for us. For today let's use a video and then once you get here it's gonna take you to this kind of like user interface which is kind of cool it's kind of taking you through steps you know you start with video playlist audio playlist stream designer and activity graphs now the first thing is video playlist since we are by the way you still have those settings i went through like you know if you want to use an image instead of video you can still change it here but for us we actually were sticking with the video Basically, it's considered like a video background, but it's just a video. The reason why I think they did is because if you want to do like some sort of video visualizer and then have some audio, that's considered like a video background, right? So you have like some audio playing, like a playlist and then have some audio visualizer kind of stuff. So anyways, so manage videos, this is where you can click and then you can have some of the videos, as you can see, I have videos that I have uploaded in the past. 
right? You can also go here and upload new files, okay? Again, I already have some videos, so I can go to manage videos and I can choose, I have this video that I was already streaming, okay? And I can even add this one, which is an audio visualizer just for fun, okay? And then add to queue. So basically, I have two videos here. I have this one and this one. Okay. Now you may get an error message here that says the video bit rate exceed the recommended. I think personally, I tried this and it worked. But if you're super, super worried about it, you can actually go ahead and manually change the bit rate of your video. But you should really be fine. It's just a simple warning that doesn't change much, to be honest. And then so once you're done, so this is basically your playlist and then you can have your settings on how upstream is actually going to treat your video or how it's going to treat your playlist. First, obviously, it's the video background. Second, so we're going to go through the settings, video playlist, order. So you're going to choose the order, which you can choose either you want to loop or you want to shuffle. So kind of shuffle, go randomly pick which one, or you can just go by order. And then for audio, now we don't have audio, but if we did, if we're doing an audio stream, you can actually choose either you want to do like a song playlist or radio stream. By the way, a radio stream, you can actually get a radio stream from a different site and then put like a URL or a link in here. And then it's going to stream that radio stream. All right. But for now, I think if we were doing audio, most of you guys, or if I was doing it, it would be just a song playlist. Now for audio main channel volume, personally, I like it to put a hundred percent because I said the volume when I create the video, so I don't want it to be reduced. So I just want to keep it hundred percent. Also audio crossfade duration. So from one video or from one audio to another, this, I don't play with it. Just leave it the way it is. Video playlist settings, again, everything, volume, I put 100%. I don't need to change anything there. Video fade type, you can choose if you want to fade between videos when it switches from video one to video two. And then Q point type, again, you can choose audio or video. Ah, person, I didn't do much. Yeah, I just leave it none. Okay. And so once you're done, you can just go ahead and save the settings. And the next thing you can do, you can go to this tab right here. And this tab is used if you have some audio. Now, since we already have some videos that we want to be playing back, by the way, you don't need audio. Now, if I was my video was just this visualizer here and I wanted to add the video so the audio would be, you know, like the mainstream content and then the visualizer would be just something to visualize in fact i can show you like this one right here right so you can see the stream going on and then have a visualizer just like as an effect but it's just me streaming some audio right so if it was that type of stream obviously here i wouldn't need to i would just add my audio here i can just go manage audio I have a folder or some music that i have uploaded again you can go here and upload audio right and then choose which one you want and then boom it's gonna show up right it's gonna show up here again for us now we're just doing video so we can skip this part now we can go here to stream designer and this is where if you have a video background or an image here you can actually go ahead and kind of design and add some elements add some text embed some website you know like you can do mostly a lot of things in here again this is mostly if you use the image if you just have a video like what I have, you probably don't need to use this section. I will let you guys play with it depending on what you want to do. Obviously, if you have any problem, by the way, you can go here on the chat. As you can see, I was chatting with them. Uh, they're actually super, super quick, which was actually impressive. I was impressed. It's just you can go to chat and then type in your question and somebody's going to show up and try uh, answering your questions if you're stuck or you need help with anything, which is pretty cool. Now, another thing, the last thing, by the way, once you're here, the next thing is to just go live. Now, one thing that I will actually as personal comment to uh, upstream, the button to go live is actually kind of hidden. So to be able to go live, you have to go here where it says more action and then you can start your stream. You can also still access your settings and then you have another menu thing here to hard reload your stream. You can add the backup stream. You can also go directly to live control room on YouTube. So 
these things kind of hidden in my opinion i think they should have a better way to show it so people can easily see it but again this is where it is so you're watching this video you're not gonna have that problem so you can go here to more action and then click start the stream obviously it's gonna ask you again if you wanna go public unlisted or private for us we're just gonna go unlisted but again if you were streaming you definitely want to go public and click confirm and right now, as you can see, we have a countdown to when it's going to be live. All right. So as you can see now, we are live. As you can see, it says it's streaming. And then if I go here to more actions, you can see now the button. The first one says stop streaming. And then what you could do is you can go here where it says preview. And then I can choose YouTube. And it should take me to YouTube where the stream is actually happening. So as you can see, it's already playing back the video that I actually set up. That can take and as you can see the audio is on we are streaming in full hd no problem 1080 and everything's actually running smooth no problem and this is gonna be looping for 24 hours until i decide to stop it again that would take a lot of electricity if you were to do it with obs or any other streaming software and your internet connection so you don't have to worry anything you can close this page go live your life and your stream is gonna be going on no problem so if you want to try it see if it's perfect for you i'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out but other than that i'll see you guys on the next video take care